Yo, what's up? Uh, gonna be doing a little experiment with this thing I bought, speed controller. And I got another meter. So we've got two meters. This one uh, shows the battery voltage and the power coming in from the turbine, which at the moment is zero because there's no wind. Uh, this one will show how much power this uh, 24 volt, 300 watt water heater is using. <clears throat> That's why I wanted another meter. Uh, so what you'll see as I turn this up, uh, we should see the top meter come on. Oh, let's turn the switch on first. Switch on, nothing yet. As we turn it on slightly, we can see that's what it's doing. Uh, so just make a mental note of the temperature of the water is 18.3 degrees as prescribed by this probe that is in there. So let's see what's gonna happen. So we've got a tiny amount of power being used as I turn it up, 30%. 40%, 50%, this is the voltage of the battery, which you can see going down, and we are using, it's actually, you can see it's varying quite dramatically the voltage and the wattage, um, so the battery at the moment on 25, I'm going to turn it up to full, and I don't want to kill the batteries. Okay, so I won't really be wanting to take it under 24. What would normally be happening is the turbine would be creating some power so it wouldn't matter. But this speed controller does give me a lot of uh, control with regards to what I want to use. So the idea is when the turbine's making power, I can set the water heater, set this thing to use the approximately correct amount of power. I know you won't be able to tell exactly. I'm just gonna crank this up a minute until we get a change in the temperature, okay? It's 18.4. The battery voltage will start going down. This is what the water heat is using, 272 volts. It's gone up to 18.5, woo, obviously that isn't a lot, but. Really, I just wanna see some action around the uh, water heater. There you go, there's a bubble or two already. A little flicker. You can see the bubbles gone down to 24.68 that's acceptable want to keep it below 24 uh, above 24 sorry so clocking away 11.41 amps the amp stays pretty stable but the voltage does uh, actually it looks like it's stabilized now it doesn't seem to be moving around Definitely bubbles forming. Yep. Yeah, these bat these batteries aren't bad, you know. This this one here I got for twenty five quid. That's really good. Just to show you, it is on maximum, and this thing will work in 12 or 24 volts so uh, that means I can either run it with the two batteries or with uh, two batteries in uh, series or two batteries in parallel. Parallel would be a 12 volt. So gone temperature's gone up 23.3 23.8 3. sorry <clears throat> yeah this thing 10 quid off Amazon including next day delivery I'm well impressed so 
I'll swap the dump load using again. You see I've labelled up the metres. Uh, so we can see at the moment the water heater has used 0.5 amp hours and 11.7 watt hours in the time we've been using it. The temperature's gone up to 25.8. What I'm going to do is I'll keep on talking for five minutes and uh, we'll see what it's got to. So yeah, this thing's been pretty good. This was off Amazon, a bit of rusty at the top. But still seems to work fine. I, I need to fit it in some kind of water container, ideally. You can see it's definitely working. 27.9. The battery's actually not gone down at all. Which is good, because... As I said, the wind turbine is making nothing, as you can see, zero amps, uh, and that's what the battery voltage is. So it's flicking between 24.74 and 24.75. Uh, the temperature of the water is clocking up quite nicely. It's only, a, I'd say, a litre, and it's. I know that it would work, but I guess I'm just interested to see how much the batteries deteriorate over the course of the experiment which at the moment is looking quite promising I've got to say I think the uh, power of an average laptop battery pack is 40 watt hours so yeah that's not bad if my numbers are correct, then it would have already been done by now, you know. So it's 3.2. Pop, pop, little bubbles. Some kind of weird miracles happening with the battery, like it actually seems to be going up. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But I wanted to label up these meters for the noobs, sorry if it's annoying to the uh, wind turbine brothers that regularly watch my videos. 36 degrees, gone up a fair bit already, 7 minutes 50. I don't know if there's anything going on down here at the bottom. Not really. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll come back in uh, 10 minutes. Let me just see what the time is. The time is 1.29. So, yeah, I'll come back at 1.40 and see what we've got. Temperature at the moment is 38.9 in 10 minutes. It's been six minutes since we last spoke and we are now up to 60 degrees. The pull from the dump load, water load, has been constant 11.4 amps. You can see up to now we have used 2.2 two four amp hours and 51 watt hours so that would have uh, wasted a laptop battery pack already i believe if my numbers please uh, tell me if my numbers aren't correct but the, the two car batteries are doing very well only having gone down from i think it went down from 25 quite quickly but it's been around 24.7 now for the 15 or so minutes that it's been on. So you can see it's gone up to 64.7 since in five minutes, so it's pretty good. Not in five minutes, you know what I mean. Since we started the video. So yeah, I'll come back shortly. I'm afraid the meters, uh, the temperature thermometer has just decided to bail out at 75 degrees. So 
So yeah, they're getting some serious action now. Lovely. I love the bubbles. Love the close up of the bubbles. In a bezel, it won't be long until the experiment is finished and the water is very hot. This is what we've used so far. Clocking up the amp hours, look, and 67.2 watt hours. Right, I'm calling that boiled. Calling that bad boy boiled. So let's just have a look at what we've used. Three point eight five amp hours, eighty seven point seven watt hours. And the battery has gone down to twenty four point six one. So I'm going to start turning down the uh, speed controller, so that's 90%, 80, 70, 60, 50, looking at the power usage in the top, 40, 30, whoops, 20, 10, Zero. We see the batteries uh, going back up. As I say, normally the turbine will be running in either 12 and 24 volt mode and it will be providing power. So, yeah, I hope you like that. That water is incredibly hot and it's taken 87.7 watt hours to heat it up from 18 degrees to say approximately work on the minimal basis it's 85 degrees but it's very hot so ow. right peace out thanks for watching